All right, <clears throat> shalom to the elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha Kodash, and the water, the water, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days which the world cannot receive. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that taught me 100% truth according to the Bible, Barakatham. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakonian Wa'achim. The elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. And shalom to the predestined who let scatter the broad the four corners of the earth that are predestined to receive salvation. Alright, by divine intervention from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in these latter days. Alright, um I just want to do a quick lesson, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord's will, edifying and comforting. All right, to the sincere Achim Wa Akwath that wholeheartedly believe in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, today is July 21st, all right, 2022, the year of the turn up, the year of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai turning up. All right, and um, things are, are definitely turning up. Okay, on the right hand side, ultimately, and Esau Edom on the left hand side, physically. Which is why I'm doing this lesson, the Elder Apostle, I'm sorry, Elder Yashuamba, all right, the uh, Elder of GMS Dallas, all right, um, you know, uploaded this video as it's titled, We Will Need Help From On High, literally, all right, from his, uh, one of his channels, uh, Two Through and Info, all right, um, beautiful, beautiful video, man, I'm gonna go ahead and play it, all right, probably majority of it, all right, um, you know, um, according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, how, how much ever he wants me to play, uh, filter it through the scriptures. But before I actually play this clip, I want to um, bring out this word, divine, because it's the spirit, man. We, um, for class, you know, Wednesday uh, live class, man, we actually, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we're going into um, power from our high, divine intervention, man. You know, how the Lord will fight for us in these last days. And it's bro it's, it's because ultimately it's going to get this dude is going to come down with great wrath it's written all right and this man has um sleeper cells this man has um all type of shit man you know we'll be here all day going into the the this man enhanced technology advanced technology on the left hand side that the, that the heavenly father is giving him but i want to go ahead and open up with this word but uh, as you can see the title is we will need help from on high and this is the uh, the, the word divine which was going into live class last night Okay, Wednesday uh, live class, man. All right, so this is the word divine on the online etymology dictionary. Divine adjective from the late 1400s. All right, it says, quote, pertaining to, of the nature of, of, oh, I'm sorry, or proceeding from, from the most high or God. Okay, addressed to the most high. So, this, the point I want to point out is proceeding from, all right, proceeding from the Most High. So what's getting ready to be proceeding from Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, power, man, okay, power, all right, heavenly uh, power from on high, the Most High Yahweh Shai is getting ready to divinely intervene. Now let's get the word intervene. So now divine, pro proceeding from the Most High, right? It says uh, right here at the bottom, you can see it says so pretty much what in the spirit. OK, prophetic. Yeah, because these are prophetic times that we're living in, man. All right. These are the, the, the times that we're living in are, are straight out of the Bible, bro. OK, as holy man. All right. Who were moved by the spirit, inspired by Yahweh Bashmi Shai, written these things down, man. And we believe that, man. Okay, as the scriptures say, the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy man. And the scriptures say in the wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter, that wisdom entered into holy souls, making them friends and what prophets of the Most High. So it's just, hey man, this is biblical, all right, times that we're living in. Okay, so now let's get the word intervene real quick. And then I'm gonna play this clip and bring out a few scriptures. So divine proceeding from the most high intervene from the 1500s, 1580s, intercept. Yeah, and, and, and you think about intercept like, um, for example, you know, playing, uh, you know, football, right? On the offense, okay, um, 
you know, you know, the offense, you know, the quarterback, all right, pretty much uh, throws a, a, a interception. So what? The what what happened? The uh, defensive back or the cornerback, if you will, or the safety, okay, or the defensive lineman, they pretty much uh, intervened, okay, in the process of uh, the ball getting from the quarterback to the wide receiver, okay? So it was an interception, man, okay? <laughs> and that's beautiful because the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, is getting ready to intercept, all right, this man's uh, plans. Let's get a quick script, uh, scripture real quick. Okay, because what that's called like an upset, you know, when a team is on a, a win, it's pretty much looking like they're winning, right? But then, it, uh, the, you know, the team who was down the whole time, the underdog team, they pretty much uh, they, they cause an upset or they, they come on an uprising, if you will, man. In the game, now the ball is in their hands, you see, and the defense becomes offense. Now the ball is in their court, if you will. And this is what Yahweh Bashim El Shai is getting ready to do for the elect of the nation of Israel. He's getting ready to divinely intervene, all right, spiritually intercept this man uh, play, okay, i.e. New World Order. The Lord is getting ready to spiritually, uh, 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 like it, divinely intervene, divinely intercept this man, all right. So Job 5 and 12, it says, he, being the Most High, disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise see and this is what Yahweh Shai is getting ready to do to the crafty being Esau Edom the most high is getting ready to intervene he's getting ready to intercept all right break frustrate okay violate to frustrate make ineffectual yeah it's not going to take effect okay to break to bit shatter to split divide split crack through to break apart okay what's going on man how you doing? All right. This is what the Lord is getting ready to do, man, in these last days. And it's a beautiful thing, man. All right. So, um, all right now. So let's go back to this word here. Um, actually, go back to the scripture, scripture. Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the crafty. I'm sorry. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so, so that their hand, all right, cannot perform their enterprise. Yeah. So the Lord is going to break through, crack, divide, frustrate, make ineffectual, intercept, intervene. Okay. All right. Because they're playing in the road heavy on Jake, man. All right. Okay. Verse 13. He taketh the wise, Esau, Edom, the wicked. All right. In their own craftiness. See that? And they counsel. I'm sorry, in the council of the four is carried headlong. See that? Now, let me read this in the NLT. He traps the wise in their own cleverness. Yeah. So their cunning schemes are thwarted. Yeah. So that's what Yahweh Shai is getting ready to do, man. Your craftiness, your cunningness, your crafty counsel, your wickedness is getting ready to be intercepted by Yahweh Shai. All right. And, 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 and this is the times that we're living in, man. So call all Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakhadash for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days and the, and the faith to believe. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get and get this real quick. Okay. September 2021, the U.S. military announced plans to use parasites to create super soldiers. The idea is to enhance the parasites using CRISPR gene editing technology to get them to secrete certain therapeutics or drugs. According to the principal scientist Bethany Bracken, these organisms have sophisticated secretory systems that can be manipulated to secrete drugs to protect our women and men on the battlefield. To put it more simply, they plan to insert parasites into soldiers these parasites will navigate to areas in the body especially around the brain and eyes once these genetically modified parasites are inserted into the body of the soldier a team at the base can monitor the soldier's conditions they will be able to remotely apply therapeutic drugs for things like pain depression and psychological problems they may even be able to erase traumatic memories what do you guys think about this see it man all right all right so now i want to get i want to get right to the point in this one here man because this is this is beautiful man and and, I, and and like the title of the brother uh video ishiar yahweh shy for the election um i believe that's the uh, the elder bro all right the elder uh okay all right um from uh charlotte right it says 
now check this title out. It says, This is why the elect men, elected chosen men of Yahweh Shai will be raised up with spiritual power. Why? Because the Lord is going to divinely intervene, divine proceeding from the Most High, intervene, being in itself. Okay? All right, divine intervention is coming from on high to where a regular men that you see that are reading the scriptures that have been given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, they, the Lord already divine. Uh, the brother of Miami the camp made a beautiful point. The Lord already divinely intervened through us by giving us this, the the key component. Uh, I'm sorry, the key component of this truth, which is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. But now the the physical part is getting ready to happen when it is going to be spiritual power to be a defense mechanism. All right, for the nation of, uh, of Israel, starting off with the elect of the nation of Israel, man, in these last days. Okay, for our loved ones, all right, those who Yahweh Bashem Shai have elected to uh, be a part of that one third, okay, that's going to uh, be saved, the remnant. Okay, now, matter of fact, because the Spirit has me uh, speaking on this again, because, uh, you know, the brother, you know, bro, bro, some bros in the, you know, brothers in the camp, we know each other, man, but the bros know I, lo I love going in on this, man, because I, I, I believe, Lord willing, I believe and I pray to Yahweh Shai that I am one of those battle axes and weapons of war in this time, man. Because, you know, the Lord Yahweh Shai is getting ready to turn us up, man. Okay? And, and we've seen how Yahweh Shai used King David. Well, guess what? The mighty men of David are being raised up, man. Those, bro, the men who were with David in those days are here today, man. Some of them are here today. That is, that's a scary thing for the elites, man. So what do they need to do? They need to... Uh, 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 wickedly enhance their soldiers, man. They need to put technology in their soldiers to where they can, they can control them underground or wherever the hell they at by a computer. Okay? And this is all the, the, the plans, the crafty counsel of the elites to cause the, uh, the, the collapse of this society and usher in their order by the way of martial law and these uh, troops, all right, on the soils of America. Okay, to uh, uh, pretty much uh, uh, um, so-called establish their enterprise, man, being a way of the RFID, which is the M-A-R-K of the B-E-A-S-T, all right, C-H-I-P, all right, implanted under the hands of, uh, or whatever into these people enforced by uh, 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 martial law, man. But see, all that's going to be a, a, a upset. It's going to be ineffectual because the Lord is getting ready to intercept all right, your uh, 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 intercept your so-called uh, touchdown play, man, if you will. So this is Zechariah 12 and verse 8. In that day, see, shall the Lord Yahweh defend, intercept, intervene, all right, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a people before us, a place, Jerusalem, the city of peace, all right, the nation of Israel, uh, uh, the so-called Negro, Latin, Ephemeric, Indian man elected of, of Yahweh Shemiel Shai, according to predestination, all right, uh, chosen vessels of, of Yahweh Shemiel Shai to be raised up, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. All right, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of Yahweh before them. See that? So uh, the men of Yahweh Shemiel Shai are going to be as David. They're going to be. They're going to be as. God. They're going to have a godlike nature, a godlike status, man, a godlike power. In these last days, to defend the elect of, of Israel, man, a defense me mechanism, as it says, in that day shall Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Well, how is he going to do that? How is the Lord going to do that? Let's, let's get it. Let's get into it, man. All right, it's not going to be of us. It's going to be of the Lord. And guess what? And guess what's the beauty of, of the whole thing? All brothers got to do is believe. You know, all we got to do is believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai. Look at that. We ain't got to do nothing special. Bros ain't got to be good looking. Brothers ain't got to uh, be the biggest, the toughest. The scriptures script, the say the feeble. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 17. He, he, he shall take, he is the most high. All right. All right. He shall take to himself. It's like he shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemy. See that? So the Lord is going to make the, the, <laughs> the creature, which is the elect, his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. And what is the, what is these man gonna do to these nations, man? Oh man. Oh man. What is what is y'all about man? You you devils out here tweaking, man. I mean, I pray y'all about Shamel Shai to use me, man. Lord's will, one of the men. We're gonna be we gonna turn up through the spirit and power y'all about Shamel Shai. Let's go ahead and get that. So be ye not afraid, man.
Neither doubt. All right? Be not afraid. Neither doubt. No, let me get this in Micah. You know, man, call all y'all about see me outside, man, because we, we already know, man, how y'all about see me outside get down. You people don't, man. Let me just get this in Jeremiah 20. Jeremiah 20 in verse, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 51 in verse 20, because it said, make the creature his weapon. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Yeah. The elected men of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Yeah, nations going to get broken out here, man. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Yeah, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, man. All that exo, all that exo enhanced parasitical uh, enhanced techno, techno transhumanism robotic uh, uh, no bro that, none of that shit ain't working bro that shit is that shit is a that shit is is, is a fairy tale bro okay you, you, the Lord built you up to be destroyed man you ain't ain't no victory coming out of you coming up against the man of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right that shit is a, a it's a joke bro verse 21 and with thee will i break in pieces the horse and his rider and with thee will i break in pieces the chariot and his rider man y'all bash me out shy is gonna turn jake up out here man y'all bash me out shy is gonna turn his man up when you devils roll man and we wholeheartedly believe that man we already we believe that man okay um Isaiah 59 and 19. Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. All right. So a standard of a, a, a divine intervention, an interception is coming, bro. All right. From the heavens. The Heavenly Father getting ready to stretch out his right hand, man, and intercept this man, man. You see? And all you, uh, uh, uh you know, <laughs> hey, hey, man, and, and guess what? It's, it's going to be a pick six, man, if you will, man. The, the Heavenly Father getting ready to score, man, and win again. Okay, because guess what? When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua shall lift up a standard against him, man. Let me get this real quick. I believe it's Deuteronomy 32 or 23. Yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and 30. How shall one chase a thousand and two, two brothers, two brothers, two men of Yahweh shot put 10,000 men to flight, except their rock had sold them and Yahweh had shut them up. Verse 31, this is the point. This is what you devils getting ready to realize in these last days, man. And all your troops and all your mighty men, all your enhanced soldiers, all these mutant creatures, whatever the hell you got, guess what? Verse 31, for their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. So your rock is not as our rock, man. Okay? We have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Let's get what King David said real quick. Jeremiah 39 and verse 17. I'm sorry. This, I want another one, but let me get this. Jeremiah 39 and 17. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith Yahweh, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of men whom thou art afraid. Yeah. So we're not going to be given into the hand of this devil, man. Psalm chapter 3 and verse 6 and it reads I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people that have set themselves against me round about arise O Yahweh save me O my power for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly salvation 
belongeth unto Yahweh. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Salah. Yeah. So victory comes from you, O Yahweh. May may you bless your people. Yeah. Call all your bashim shai. Victory come from Yahweh bashim shai, man. Okay. So we ain't a grow. This shit is actually this is this is enthusiastic. Uh, enthusiastic. All right. This is beautiful, man. And this, and guess what, man? This is the movie of Yahweh bashim shai, and this is reserved for the elect man. When power from on high raise up the elected men with spiritual power, man. Call all y'all bossing me. It's related to Second uh, Thessalonians 2. Turtles. What is the Black Awakening? Um, it's related to the Red Horse Prophecy in Revelation. It's related to Second uh, Thessalonians 2 when it says about the day of the Lord, the Parousia. That day will not occur until the apocalypse of the Antichrist and. The of the Antichrist and the apostasia of the word rebellion or revolt that's all he will destroy in this mountain yet being Yahweh inside the face of the covering cast he saw Edom over all people in the veil that is spread over all nations yet yeah. really defined in okay especially our people the nation of Israel they, they have a veil over them man but the Lord is getting ready to un uh, reveal that veil and you getting ready to find out when it's too late that Esau Edom is your enemy and not your ally man the prophecy of the red horse but here's where the term came from and why I used it purposely when I started dealing with ritually abused individuals and then we dealt with military oriented highly trained you know program shooters and assassins inside of them when we began to deal with them I dealt with someone from Fort Bragg for quite a while and a few others we we're sitting in a lake Conneaut Lake they reached over or ripped over my shirt to see if I was wired, if I was wiring and recording them. And they were the most sophisticated satanic warrior type person. They knew five, six languages. They knew the ancient twilight languages. They knew how to conjure. They knew, they knew how to use Belteshari, Okwam, all these old Pictish languages of the Druids to summon. They were, they are the real Luciferian. They've been through many human sacrificial things. So they sat there to tell me some of those things what they've been involved with, how they sacrifice a human. I'm listening to all this stuff from them. And then they said to me, you have no idea, Russ, how many of us there are out there. How many satanic, cho they, they use the term, chosen ones. Uh, you have no idea how many. You have no idea what's coming. Um, we smell Christian blood. We, we are.